What's up, guys? This is the kid DZD, aka the Drink Kang, live from the Dungeon Palace Studios once again. Thank you guys for clicking on this video. You know, I always appreciate it. All the support, all of the comments, all of the likes, everything that you guys show the channel. Please keep that up. It helps us out a lot. If this is your first time with us, make sure you consider hitting that subscribe button and also hitting that bell notification. That way, you don't miss out on content just like this that I'll be bringing to this channel. Have you guys ever went sample digging? inside of a sample sample digging inside of samples awesome amazing concept what you do is you grab a nice sample something kind of airy something kind of melodic that has a few nice different hits in it and you grab samples out of that sample and you make a beat with it i'm gonna jump inside i have one loaded and i'm gonna show you how it's done follow your boy and let's get it rocking let's do it All right, peeps, I got this crazy little sample right here. Um, it's kind of like an ambient sample, so check this out. Kind of like some outdoorsy type stuff. Now this sample right here has a bunch of hits in it. You can see where the sample gets big. Like it gets big right here, it gets big right here. All of these small sounds right here are like the ambient sounds, but this is where the piano hits. So what I want to do is grab a few of these piano hits and transform them into smaller samples. That way I can have them to work with on the pad. So we're going to kind of browse around this sample and see if we can grab some of those hits. Let's see. See, that's a good one right there. Those three little piano hits right there. So let's grab that. Let's process that. And then we're going to extract that into its own sample. We're going to keep this neat. So we're going to name the samples just like um, sample one. Okay. And then we hit do it. So we have that as sample one. Okay. Let's find something else. Let's see what's up with this big piece right here. I like that piece right there. So let's process that and we're going to extract that. We're going we're gonna to call that sample two. Okay, we have that as a sample. And if you notice, all our samples are populating right here in our sample pool. So let's keep going. Let's go all the way over and see if we can grab something from right here. That's nice right here. Let's get that whole piece right there. Let's process that. And we're going to call that sample three. Okay. This is kind of like sample digging within a sample. You're literally going inside of a sample and you're digging for, for more samples inside of it. that piece as well right there let's grab that we're going to process that and we're going to call that sample four okay keep everything nice and tidy do it okay you guys got to get the idea i'm going to go through this and grab more chops and i'll be right back with you a few moments later all right i picked out about 10 different chops from the samples you see them all right here so all i'm going to do is just grab these and drag them to pads let's do it back to there three four five six seven 
eight, nine, and 10. Okay, so we got all of these all on our pads. And the good thing about this is what I can do is I can go here to my inserts and I'm gonna go down to Kilo Hearts Plugins. Kilo Hearts Plugins has a, a um, pitch shifter plugin, okay? And any pitch shifter will do. You know, you can find a free one online that just pitches your uh, sound up and down. So now I can work with this pitch if I want to do something different with the melody. Check it out. So I can pitch the melody however I want, pitch my chops however I want um, after I do it. And it's going to affect all of the chops because I have it on the program. Okay, I'm creating this, this sample program from scratch. Normally when you do shift and convert after you chop up a sample, it automatically does everything for you. But since I'm creating this from, from scratch, I have to go ahead on and put this right here in program edit. I have to put this to mono. And what this is going to assure me is that the samples ch cut each other off. If I don't do it, let's put it back to poly, then the samples will run into each other. So always remember that when you're creating samples from scratch, you go to program edit and then you put it in mono. That way your samples cut each other off and just one plays at a time. Okay, now what I can do is go up here and change it from grid to wave, that's gonna show me the wave of each sample chop. And this is how I can tighten up the samples on each pad to see what I'm working with. See, I can start this chop at the beginning. I can start it here. I'm gonna start that one there. Okay, I think I got all the chops where I want them. So now I'm gonna go back to the grid and we're gonna see if we can lay something down, if I can come up with some type of vibe with this, this sample, let's see. got that I can go back and sharpen these samples off so they don't play um, all the way out I just need that beginning part okay my next one here I just need this beginning part I'm just picking the parts of the sample that I need. All right, there you go. Now I got all of the samples in their own pieces. Check it out. Now my sample doesn't play out long on the chops that I have. All right, the next thing I'm gonna do is go back to program edit and start working with the beginning and end points of the sample. So I'm gonna go here and click all, that way all of the pads light up. Anything I do will affect all the pads. I'm gonna go over here to the envelope and we're gonna work with the beginning part of the sample and the end in the part of the sample is the decay. So the attack and decay, let's work with that. Now that I got the sample chop smoothed out, I'm gonna go to my pitch shifter and we're gonna see how this sounds pitched up and down.
Let's see if we can put it put an EQ on that and kind of work with it a little bit. Okay, so now I can start laying down some drums. Okay, what I'm gonna do is take the first note in the first chord and invert it down. And then I'm gonna take the last note in the middle chord and invert it up along with the next note as well. We're gonna make this into some nice groovy type type boom bap. Let's do it. to take my second chords and push them up. That does it for the video. I hope you guys picked up the concept of digging for samples inside of a sample. If you guys didn't understand what was done here, make sure you rewind the video and check it out again. It's a very simple concept. I'm sure you guys will pick it up very, very quickly. If you got any value from this video or you picked up any slight tips that'll help you out, make sure you guys consider hitting that like button and also drop a comment below and let me know if you understand exactly what was done here. I will let you guys know now that I do have a sample flip contest coming up that's going to be going down live on the twitch channel make sure you guys are subscribed to my website with your email address that way you don't miss the exact date that we're going to post it on you'll get a notification if you're only subscribed to my website so make sure and do that the link is in the video description as well subscribe with your email address that way you catch the date and time and you can be part of the sample flip contest if you guys want to ask any questions or say what's up send a shout out just hit me up on instagram make sure you drop me a follow at the drink king also shoot me a dm and i'll try and get back to you guys as soon as i possibly can that does it for me guys this is the kid dzd aka the drink king live from the dungeon palace studios and i'll catch you guys in the next video peace out